Alright, back to a more game, rare game that is. This time I'm gonna go to the Lucy Mines. I can't believe there's still more of these, man. I feel like I should be done with these already. Alright, so for one of these, I need to go to the Site 11 area and I need to clear out all the, uh, all the enemies, I guess, for this one to spawn. So that is what I'm gonna do. whole Site 11 area needs to be cleared out, apparently. everywhere. Probably these guys too, huh? Sack of oil bombs. Don't want that. So naturally I've cleaned out all the enemies of the area so um, the enemy doesn't show up. So again, I don't know how you're supposed to be able to find this stuff on your own without using a guide. I'm completely lost to how that is even possible. Come on man, where the hell is... Where's this guy? Oh, he spawns down there. Well, that's funny, that's just where I was. Did I already kill him? Maybe I just need to go back over there.
No, he's not here. Maybe there's some special bullshit I gotta do, like standing on my head or something. It has nothing. Shows up in the southwestern most part of Site 11 after having defeated all foes in the area, including the Mimic Treasure. <sighs> so, what have I missed? Did I miss any Mimic Treasures? That could be my problem. Skipping treasure and shit. Because I kind of do that now. I don't even go for it. It's most likely uh, garbage. Come from. Oh, there's one I missed. Wrong way. Hopefully, I fucking got everything. This is not. I'm just gonna bitch more. There we go. Oh, and look at that. The guy's even, uh. He's even a nice guy until we attack him first. How about that, huh? Keep forgetting she doesn't have the spell. And he dies. Just like that. Alright. So after killing him, <clears throat> we gotta do some more loose mines. Bombshell, loose mines. Lash span. Where's that? Huh. So how do we get that guy to... Okay. It's fairly close. Twenty percent chance of spawning. All right, so I gotta do the whole zone bullshit. Might as well kill these birds while I'm at it, right? Good 
time to float the wear off. Come on, man. This is the fucking yeah. Oh, there he is. Quit dodging my shit. I think that pretty much closes out the Lucy Mines. It's just fucking something else. I don't know, I think I might actually have to go back to the Still Shrine of Miriam again. I'm always finding like new shit. Man, I wish these were listed by location and not by number. Make it a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, we're done here. Alright, so what's next? Did Burmu. Therian. Sorobi Step. Yeah, I think I still got one in the Sorobi Step. Although, maybe I should check for that one. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do it now. So we gotta go to the North Sword. Which is probably all the way the fuck up here, right? I don't know. Kinda. Still gotta travel a little bit of a ways.
Alright, so what do we gotta do? To get this guy to show up. Oh, we gotta defeat all the enemies, huh? Once a player was hunted... Once the player has hunted and vanquished all the foes in the North Sword area, this will be step. Tyrion will drop from the sky to the very spot where the last foe is killed. It spawns no matter what the present weather conditions are. Well, that's perfect. Drops right in front of you. I like that. That's good stuff. Saves me from having to fucking sit around a location waiting for the damn thing to show up. Instead, you be for us. Next, what's next? What else do I have? Gotta be getting close, man. Cubus. Do I have a Cubus already? In the Sochin Cave Palace? I don't remember if I got that one or not. No, of course I don't. Gotta go back to the Sochin Cave Palace again! Again, I, I wish the list I was using was fucking by location. That's That would have been so much faster and easier that way. But fuck, man. Doing a lot of fucking running around. This shit.
Okay, this guy shows up in the Temptation Eluded. Whatever the hell that is. Okay, we just gotta kill all the enemies in this area, no problem. Temptation looted area of the Sochike Palace is filled with pit fiends and wendigos 25% of the time. After killing all of these foes, he also drop down right next to the player. This will only work if pit fiends and wendigos spawn, not strikers and imps. What? There is a gate crystal, so one can simply save and reset if there are no pit fiends and wendigos. I didn't even pay attention to what the hell I was just killing just now. You, I thought this was good. I thought this was gonna be an easy one, man. Apparently not. Apparently not. Unless uh, I killed whatever it was already, without even realizing it. Nope. Can't be that lucky. So I gotta ride this elevator just to get these fuckers to respawn, huh? Stupid.
Pit Fiends and Wendigos. Here's Wendigos. Isn't this what I had last time? Maybe it was imps. Similar flying creatures, though. Dead. Pray. Who's next? Oh wait, I better make sure that I got everything here in the Sochin Cave Palace, man. I really don't want to have to fucking backtrack here again. Dalmaska Estrasan, Yarding Labyrinth. I don't think I got this one. Time to go kill some cactoids.
is one. There's not many cat towers, cactites in this area. Found like one. That's it. What do they want me to do? Some stupid note, probably. I mean, it's always something stupid. Thirty-three percent chance of spawning per cacti or cactoid killed in the yarding labyrinth area. Oh, look at this guy. He looks like a mandragora. Player must defeat all cactoids in the area and look in the southwestern cul-de-sac of the yarding labyrinth. It's a nice fucking okay. I think I've done that, actually. And how many fucking cactites are in this area? Not too many. starting to get ridiculous already. So you gotta like basically walk around everywhere and look for these damn cactuses. Great. You can't see them, you gotta wait for them to jump out of the ground.
So I basically have to run around everywhere. Right now I feel like a drunk driver, man. <laughs> With all this fucking running around. Just all this zigzagging I'm doing, trying to find these these fucking cat towers. Zigzag, Rick on zigzag. not here. The fucking thing isn't here. I fucking... The player should fight the cacti in the southwest near the outpost first, then move... What? Players should fight the cacti in the southwest near the outpost first and then move toward the inner passageways of the Yarding Labyrinth and defeat the two cactoids that appear only when approached. If the player has moved far enough from the first cactite's location, it should respawn along with the ripe rampager. Each cactite cactoid killed has a 33% chance of spawning the ripe rampager. An easy way to trigger it is to save at the nearby Nalbana Fortress. Kill. Come on! Fucking shitting me? You gotta. F That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy XII. I'll just do this one off screen. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.